Welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new episode for you here today and right now we are currently sitting at the most trophies we have ever had in our COC career. You can see if we go into the information button there, we are currently sitting at 3,654 trophies. If we go back there, you can see that is the exact amount we have in the top left hand corner of the screen. So what we're going to do inside of this episode, we are going to try and push our way towards 3,700. Don't forget we are trying to hit Titans League guys, we are trying to go to Titans 1 if possible. Possible. So we recently done the 200k sub Q&A and the giveaway guys So what we're gonna do right now, we are about to start ourselves a brand new giveaway now What I want you all to do in the comment section take a guess how many trophies am I gonna be on by this Sunday? That gives me six days to get as many trophies as I can the winner is gonna receive a $25 gift card so I would suggest guessing somewhere between 3,800 and like 4,200 trophies guys, but it honestly all depends. It depends how much I play It depends if I suck or not and it depends if I get wrecked on defense So don't forget to let me know what gift card you want Do you want iTunes or do you want Android and also let me know what social media that you want a shout out for? So let's not waste any time, we're about to get ourselves into a live attack. So the attack strategy I have been using recently, I used to use Giants, but really, they kind of just get wrecked now by the Eagle Artilleries and Inferno Towers. So what we're going to do, we're going to switch up, we are going to start using some Golems, and of course, a single P.E.K.K.A. So it's time we get ourselves into a live attack. Let's just check the defense log first. Defense log, any victories? No, no, no victories in quite a while, actually. About six or seven defenses. So on defense, we've just been getting wrecked, so we're not going to bother showing you any of those guys. So let's make our way into a live attack. Now, I don't really want to be taking on heroes, and hopefully we can draw out the clan castle nice and easy. So this is a good base we can take on, guys. It's worth 22 trophies. Hopefully we can two-star this base. I mean, it's got its inferno towers in the center there. Shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as we can get inside of that core. So we are about to start off the attack. Now, we only have earthquake spells. I should have gone with jump spells here. My bad, my bad, but hopefully... We can do some damage inside of this base. So here we go. We're going to break down here because I do want to get the Inferno Tower. Sorry, I want to get the Dark Elixir. And I want to do damage to the Inferno Tower and the Expo. There we go. We got damage to the Town Hall as well. Now, the Clan Castle's on the other side. So it could be a little bit of a problem. But who knows? Let's just see what happens. So the first things first. We got 10 Wall Breakers, which is okay. Going to drop in two there. There we go. Got straight inside of there. And we are going to drop in three right there. Hopefully three can get through. Are they going to do it? Yeah. Oh, no. We lost them. We lost them, guys. We lost three, three, three wall breakers. So we're going to go for an attack now. We're going to send in two golems on each side. So let's start the initial stages of the attack. We're going to go in with a single golem there, drop in loads of whizzies behind. And then we're going to go in with another golem there. Continue to drop some whizzies in behind. Going to go king, queen, and of course the grand warden. Drop in those two little wall breakers there. Going to go in with three wall breakers there. Did they get through? Yes, they did. And then we're going to drop the rage spell. And the Oh my god, I forgot the two golems on this side. I forgot them. There we go. Go on, boys. Quickly. Quickly, my boys. There we go. Now we're going to drop in some more Harrys. Go on, Harrys. Go on, you little Harrys. Going to use the Grand Warden's ability very early. We're going to free spell right on the actual clan castle there. We're going to drop the poison spell on the clan castle. And we need to get the king raged up. Where is he gone? Why is he gone around for? I have no idea. We're going to drop another rage spell right there on the wizards. Try and take down that clan castle. We're going to rage up the king. There we go. We're up to 39% so far. The Queen and the Grand Warden have made their way into the center. And they have taken down that Town Hall. We've already got the Dark Elixir. We have a Golem going around the right-hand side of the base. We've got a Golem on the left-hand side, have we? I oh, know that's just the King, guys. We've got the King on the left-hand side. He's getting targeted, so we're going to use... We're going to use the Queen's ability. Let's use the Queen's ability. We're going to use these two little wizards here. Don't forget, you do need to get 70% if you want to get 100% loot bonus, guys. So we're going to try and get 70% here. Are we going to do it there? We need 9 more percent. What do we need? 9 more. Come on. Come on, Aries. Take that building. Take it. Yes. Good boy. So we got three archers and we got two little minions. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Here we go. This is going to be strategically placed now. We're going to drop a minion there. And we have got three archers. Where can we place them? Oh, oh can we get this? Be cheeky. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about. That's going to take us to hopefully 67%. Can we get that? Yes, that is what I'm talking about. Can we get that? No, you bitches. So we're only up to 66% so far. We do need a double whammy here. Are we going to get 4% from these buildings? We've got an extra minion left. Do you think we can get this army camp? I doubt it, guys. Oh, did we get it? No, no, we didn't, guys. We're up to 67%. You know what? Let's just end it there. It's not going to get us anymore. So what do we get? We've got 2,500 Dark Elixir plus a 97% loot bonus. So we're making our way into the second attack, guys. And as I said, we are using the full golem attack strategy. Except this time, we're going up against the Town Hall 11. Except, luckily for us, 
There is no Eagle Artillery. No, there is not. It's not a Rush Town Hall to Town Hall 11. I would just say it's a new one. There it is. There's the Eagle Artillery getting built right there, guys. So we're about to go balls deep inside of this base. We are about to penetrate. Don't forget, guys, if you would like to see deep penetration, smash that like button down below. So we're going to be using two penetration points there. We're going to send in one Golem via the top, a couple of Harry Potters, you know, just to clear a little bit the uh, the extra little builder's huts and a few of those little structures up. Get us some percentage points. Don't forget, although you may grab the Town Hall, you always want to try and ensure you get the two Two star. It's all about getting the two star, guys. Getting one stars when trophy pushing just takes so much longer. So we're going to go two golems at the top, two golems down the bottom. I believe they're going to pull out. Yes, they are. What absolute cunts, guys. What absolute little buggers they are. So we dropped in the rage spell down towards where the bottom golems are. No! Harry! Harry, we lost way too many Harrys there. We got the King, the Queen, and the Grand Warden coming in just behind. They're going to use the Grand Warden's ability. What well, loads of people. I see so many people do, guys. Even on YouTube, they use the Grand Warden's ability so damn late. It's just pointless. It's absolutely pointless. You want to try and use his ability when you have as many troops around in his circle as possible. Because he's going to benefit all of those troops. So there we go. We've dropped down a second rage spell. The King's inside of there. We got the Pekka. Have we got Pekka? No, we don't. What am I talking about? Why am I lying for? We got the Golems. We got the Queen and the Grand Warden still all inside of the core. The double Inferno Tower is definitely doing some damage. So we just use the Queen's ability. She's taken down the Town Hall. Is it going to fall? Yes, of course it is, guys. There we go. And she goes on to take down that Inferno Tower. So the Queen's going down, guys. There she goes. The Grand Warden is still up and alive. And what have we got left? We got one Golem going down the bottom. Absolutely perfect. That is going to secure us the second star. We've still got, don't forget... Always keep back a couple of archers and bring at least, I would say, one minion. One minion can be so damn helpful, whether it's to take out like a golem or a lava hound inside of the clan castle, or even if it's just to get a few extra structures right at the end of the raid. So the Grand Warden's just gone down, RIP my brother, and we have one single little Harry Potter left. Of course, he's not going to be able to do anything, so we're going to end it there, and we got 51%. That is all that matters, guys. We secured that two-star. 14 trophies. So I was going to show you another replay, but this time I thought, you know what, we're just going to gem ourselves up an army. We're going to gem ourselves up an army live, guys, and we're going to go in for our second live attack. Hell yeah! Smash that like button for gemming up an army. By the way, guys, I don't know if you do remember, but I did make a brand new account called Baby Tony, and all of you, so many of you voted for me not to gem, so we are not going to be gemming Baby Tony. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it yet, but it is going to be something pretty damn awesome. So this time, we're going to go for... We're going to use 16 wizards, 16 wizards, we're going to bring a P.E.K.K.A. And we're going to bring 8 wall breakers, there we go. We're going to use 2 archers, and then we are going to make our way into the dark barracks. We're going to go with, we'll go with a treble, we'll go with 3 golems, we're going to use 2 little uh, little minions there. We'll go with some Valkyries, we've got these maxed out Valkyries now, we've got 4 of them. And then we are going to go for, we'll go for 2 more wall breakers just to make sure, and we'll go for another treble in the archers. There we go! So now let's choose our spells, double free spell, sorry, double rage spell, one free spell, and of course the standard. Actually, let's change it up. We haven't used jump spells for a while. I need to max out these jump spells. Can I do it now? We've got nothing inside of the research lab. How much are jump spells? We need another 3 million elixir. That's pretty damn bad. So now we need to gem up our heroes, gem the king, gem the grand warden, and gem the queen, of course. So in the comment section, guys, standard procedure, hashtag Gemeral Tony. Gemeral, guys, get it? So now let's make our way into a live attack. Don't forget, guys, in the comment section, let me know how many trophies I am going to be on by this Sunday. That's this Sunday, six days away. Is it six days? Yeah, six days away, guys. So I'm guessing, as I said, going to be between like 3,800 and maybe 4,200 trophies. Who knows, though? I could be higher or I could get absolutely just wrecked and lose those of attacks. I have no idea. Woo, looky here, looky here. This guy's got a lot of loot inside of this space. And we got the double jump spell. So we could... Could be about to go balls deep here. Shall we go for it? Shall we go for it? What can we do with a double jump spell? Now we can use wall breakers here. Use one jump spell there. And then use a second jump spell to get into the core. We could do that. However, we could be in serious trouble. But I do want to get that dark elixir there. I've got a feeling. like I've got a very strange feeling. I'm about to fail this raid really damn bad. I don't think I'm even going to get a one star. But you know what? I'm not going to back down. I'm about to go in for the kill. So we're going to start it off. We are going to start it off. We're going to attack from the top hand side of the base. So what we gonna do? Where's oh no, the dark elixir is down the bottom. We're gonna attack from the bottom side of the base. Here we go. So we got we got ten wall breakers. Where is a good penetration point? There's not really many good penetration points. We're gonna have to go for a very very wide spread on these golems. Now we've got what have we got? We got one golem. Oh no, guys, I don't know if I'm gonna do this. Oh my god, this is gonna be so damn tense. Are we gonna do this? Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna? We're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to go in for the kill. Here we go. We're gonna go for a golem there. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of go for it. So we're going to go send in the golem there. 
All I want is the Dark Elixir. I don't really care about the victory, guys. I'm not too bothered. We're going to go for a second golem there. Send in some wall breakers. Are they going to get in there? Yes, they are. Beautiful. Send in a third. No, no. Why did I do that? I didn't mean to send in the third golem. No. No, golem. 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 So we're going to drop in the Pekka, we're going to drop in the Valkyrie, he's going to drop down that first Rage spell, and we're going to send that Jump spell there, although I don't think any of those Golems are going into the core, guys. Here comes their bloody uh, Clan Castle, going to freeze most of the Clan Castle troops, drop Poison spells on those bloody Harry Potters, and of course kill the rest of those little Skeletons. Going to use a Grand Warden's ability, there we go, and we're going to drop in the Rage spell. Come on, come on King, get right in there inside of the core. What are we up to? We're only up to 28% so far. Oh my god, guys. I'm getting destroyed here. I'm getting destroyed. Come on, take down the town hall. Come on, queen. We need the queen to turn on that town hall. There we go. There we go. There it is, guys. There's the one star secured, at least. We got the one star. So we are getting pretty much battered here. We've still got the queen's ability to use. We're up to 30-something percent. We're going to get the two star here. You know what? Stop being pessimistic. We're going to get this two star. Oh, my God. The queen went down so quick there. Had to use her ability just in time. Get the wizard. Get the wizard. All right. We didn't get the wizard, guys. We're up to 37%. So what are we going to do? I have no idea what's inside of that clan castle, and to be honest, I don't really want to use it because I can't see us getting the two star here, but we're going to try. Oh, you bitch. You absolute bitch. You just ruined the raid. All right, so change of plan, change of plan. We're about to go in for the kill. We're going to go for that dark elixir inside of there. Are we going to get it? I doubt it, guys, but we're going to go for it anyway. Go on, loads of wall breakers. Send in the wall breakers. Send in the archers. Send in the minions. Come on. Come on, troops. Do it for Tony. Do it. Do it. You scumbags. So what did we get, guys? What did we get? We got the Dark Elixir again, at least, and we only got a 59% bonus. That absolutely sucks. That was such a poor attack. I just realized that I have no idea where the Valkyries went inside of that raid. So there we go. Anyway, guys, we are at a brand new trophy record, 3675. Let me know in the comment section, what is your top trophy record? How many of you are currently higher than me and how many of you have been higher than me? So don't forget to smash that like button down below, guys. Stay tuned to the channel. Take a guess in the comment section. How many trophies are we going to be on by Sunday? 